we're taking the train, you can see behind me, and we're going to Lugano, which is in the southern province of Ticini. I'm really looking forward to this one because it's one of the most beautiful train rides in Switzerland. So take along and we'll see how we're going to do. This trip will take us about two hours today and it's only three stops in the middle. So right now let's find our carriage to Lugano. Guys, I'm right here in the first class cabin of the yes, SBB train. It's pretty convenient to be honest. There are not a lot of seats in here. Most of them is just in a one-one configuration. There are some seats for people who need a wheelchair as well. And that's pretty much it. There's a washroom inside of it and two doors. I chose to sit here for today and I hope I have this cabinet all to myself and the entire journey. I'm not really sure about that now, but well, cross my fingers and keep it up, guys. Il personale delle FFS vi dà il benvenuto e vi augura un piacevole viaggio a bordo dell'Eurocity a destinazione di Zugo, Art Goldau, Bellinzona, Lugano, Chiasso. Prossima fermata, Zugo. The SPB train crew welcomes you on the Eurocity to Zug at Goldau, Bellinzona, Lugano, Giasso, and wishes you a pleasant journey. Next stop, Zug. and welcome from the back office while editing the video I kind of was surprised that my GoPro decided not to record any audio with the external microphone that I put on so in the next couple of videos you will hear me a lot from the back office and by the way the GoPro decided as well that it is a cool thing just to record it 10 times faster than it should this Failure is as well new to me, so I have no idea what she does. I have not changed any settings. And after about two hours, she was back to normal again. I don't know what's going on. Let me show you around my first class cabinet right now. As you can see, the seats are very comfortable. They are in a 1-1 one, one or 1-2 one, configuration. The power outlets you will find on the side of your seat underneath the armrest. On each seat there is as well a reading lamp that you can put on like this and shut off like this. Each seat is as well equipped with two power outlets to charge all the devices and as well a cup holder which is quite convenient on a train. It's getting closer to midnight I try to get closer to you
winding its way alongside the shoreline of the Vierwaldstätte See, the lane is now turning towards the Gotthard Base Tunnel North Portal. The Gotthard Base Tunnel is the world's longest railway tunnel at the moment. It's 57.1 kilometers long, which equals out to 35.4 miles. Driving through the tunnel with 200 kilometers an hour, which is the speed that all trains are going here, takes up to 22 minutes. While we are in the tunnel, let's do a washroom tour. The washroom was spotless clean throughout the whole journey and was as well sanitized a couple of times. The planning for the Gotthard Base Tunnel started back in 1993 and until 1999 they made all the planning completed and started building. The tunnel was completed then in 2016. Approximately 300 to 320 trains a day are passing through this tunnel and only 65 of them are passenger trains. So you can assume there is a lot of cargo going through the tunnel. Most of the freight from Northern Europe, which needs to go to Italy, uh, Spain, France or even further south, is going through here, because this one is the shortest connection between Northern and Southern Europe. Here you can see our route of today. It's pretty much the same like an airplane. How cool is that? I was lucky enough to have the whole first class carriage for myself the entire journey. I have not expected that to be honest and it was a cool plus for me on this trip. Now let's get back to the beautiful Swiss countryside. So hello everyone and fine people over the internet. We are right now coming to an end of this journey today from Zurich to Luga. This is by far the most beautiful line I've taken so far inside of Switzerland and if you have a chance please do it yourself as well. As this trip is part of a multi-trip ticket uh, the price was ridiculously cheap on this one. I paid for the whole trip from Munich to Lugano, 39 euros in first class. This is amazing. So now it's time to pack our stuff and leave this beautiful train as we are now pulling into the station of Lugano. The ride with the Swiss intercity train was really beautiful, very comfortable and has a lot of good scenery on the way. And although you are in a high-speed train that goes up to 200 km an hour, you have as well good views outside of the window, no um, stupid noise walls covering up all the good scenery. And if you want to have more scenery like this, you can as well choose to take the Panorama Express, which goes the Panorama Gotthard route. This one is taking one and a half hours longer than our train. And this one you can um, access with a added on ticket on your normal ticket price. The Gotthard Panorama Express train runs every hour starting from Zurich, Luzern or Basel. So I do apologize for all the audio problems on this video and I want to say thank you for watching. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to, it helps me more than it, you think it does. And yeah, I say until next time, see ya, stay healthy, take care and goodbye.